is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are at it with a figure video I don't think I have ever done here on the channel, man. Today, we are covering, we've already covered the best figures of the year. All the different categories, man. AEW, WWE Elites, WWE Ultimates, all those different things. But today, man, we are coming for the most underrated, the most underrated WWE action figures from this year. Now, it's going to be the most underrated Elites, just because I feel like nobody really underrates Ultimates, right? I mean, they, they get their praise. If they're good, they're good. If they're bad, we let them have it. And I think we'd all agree on that or close to it. So today, man, I'm going to shut the hell up, step off to the side, and one by one, I'm going to bring these figures onto the screen and discuss why they're underrated. Maybe they flew into the radar. Maybe you'll be able to get some steals out of this video that maybe you missed out on this year. But today, we're covering the most underrated WWE Elite action figures of 2022. All right, man, so starting out first, we have the WrestleMania 39 Elite Rock figure. You guys know that this was one of my favorite figures of this year. I, I really do love this Rock figure. I think that it's just, like, a lot of people are going to look at it and be like, oh, it's just the same Rock figure from head to toe. It's nothing out of the ordinary or unique, but this head sculpt is phenomenal. If you're looking for an early 2000s, you know, right there at the start of the Ruthless Aggression era for Rock, this head sculpt is on the money. I love the new shoulders here. The head sculpt's really what sells it, but this formula that they switched to once they got the double jointed arms is phenomenal it's perfect i love this rock figure if you don't own this rock go get it sell every other rock get this one this is the money zone right there i love that rock figure next up we have a couple legends figures man we have the legends china this figure was so darn crappy or a lot of people hate this figure so much but you could get this figure for like six dollars at your target and i know it's not the most over the top crazy deco just incredible figure right but you got to admire how much it looks like China. You get this cloth vest. It has the classic look of China. The collar, the top, the bottoms here, the combat boots. Hands are a bit small. I will give you that. Head sculpt's not the greatest of all time. But this is a great looking China figure, man. For This figure did not deserve to show form like it did. But it is so great. It is so great. I, lo I love this China figure. I think it's great. And for the price you could probably get it at, it, it, it is really, really great. So a China figure coming in right here at the most underrated this year. Next up on the list, guys another legend. It is the Elite Legends Triple H. I feel like a lot of people just kind of forgot about this figure. You know, it's a two-in-one. You get the... Uh, oh, wait. I have both of them here. I have both versions here because I had to have at least two of these guys. I have him in his DX Army gear, and then I have him in his wrestling tights. This is an, uh, an attire that I wanted for a long time. They finally gave it to us. I think the head sculpt's underrated. I mean, you're you're dealing with a great figure right here. This Triple H is phenomenal. Again, great posability, double-jointed arms. A lot of people, I feel like, just slept on this figure for whatever reason. It was filling up targets just like China, but it's so good. It's so good, and if you missed out on it, man, you definitely need to go track it down. I don't know if you'll find it at Target anymore, but you could probably find, you could at least find him on the secondary market for probably a good price. We're still in the Legends line, so we might as well just keep the Legends train moving, man. We have the Mean Mark Callus Legends figure. Phenomenal head sculpt, a figure that probably a lot of people didn't really need in their collection. I understand why it went to clearance. Like, a lot of people are not looking for a Mean Mark Callus for the collection, but if you want some good parts and everything like that, man. I mean, this figure is underrated. It's got great cloth goods, great head sculpt, great formula, double jointed arms, moves around well. I mean, mine's kind of got loose abs, but that doesn't really matter at this juncture. It is underrated. It's underrated. It's a, it's a solid figure, great foundation, and just because a lot of people don't want the figure doesn't mean that it's not good. You know what I mean? So, this Mean Mark Callus is one that I know a lot of people probably didn't want or think about getting, but I think you can move some things around. You can use him for some part of your collection, whether it's just the cloth goods, man. This is a great figure right here and it had to be included in the most underrated from this year. And the last figure from the Legends line that we have in the most underrated category, another figure from my top 10 of the year, is going to be the Legends Farouk figure. Another figure that I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on, man, another clearance figure. Now, I know that it's not necessarily like, just because a figure's on clearance doesn't mean that it's underrated, right? I think that this figure is just so good that if you're getting it on clearance, I mean, it's honestly just insane how good this figure is, how well it replicates Farouk from in real life. You got the Acolytes form of him here, a figure I've waited forever on, and I think a lot of people are sleeping on it, man. You definitely need to go get your hands on this one. Again, it did make my top 10 of the year, and rightfully so. I mean, it is a it is a great figure. I think if you own it, you know what I'm talking about. If you grew up watching Farouk, you know what I'm talking about, but this one, this one's on the money. I had to include him on my most underrated this year. On to the next one. We're getting into the main Elite line now. Starting out with Elite Series 92, and a figure I know a lot of people hated this figure. It shelf-warmed everywhere, Brad. It is the Elite 92 Scarlet figure. Now, 
I did head swap mine for the basic. A lot of people hated the head sculpt on that figure, but a simple head swap and it kind of changes the look right here. I like the double jointed arms on this. I love the like soft hands for the claw hands. Kind of reminds me of Insidious going on. Really unique figure. It's got a lot of great articulation on it. I mean, you're dealing with a boot cut, a double jointed knee, a thigh cut. She's on ball joints. She does have these heels right here, which are a little bit difficult to stand sometimes. Like she does want a face plant, but overall, this is a fun figure. And to, to be able to snipe this figure for a really cheap price anywhere online, I think that's pretty good. This is a really underrated figure. A lot of people have left this one hanging on the shelves, and I think that you're missing out on a pretty quality figure. You know, you could play around with this one, switch some head sculpts and stuff. I like that Scarlet figure, and I think it's definitely one of the most underrated of the year. Moving up to Elite Series 93, we have the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Now, I did switch the head sculpt. I wasn't a big fan of the head sculpt, but I think this one's super underrated. It poses immaculate. It feels really good in the hand. I like the formula that they got on the guy. The double jointed arms, all the good bells and whistles on here. Now, again, I did switch the head sculpt, which, you know, that, that is what it is. You know, sometimes you gotta switch a head sculpt to make it, you know, uniform and complete, but I still really like it. He came with cloth goods. I think he came with cloth goods. Maybe he didn't. No, I don't think he did. Also, what about the Chase variant of this figure, man? Haven't seen it one time. Have not seen the Chase variant of this figure one time. I haven't even seen anybody own it. The gold version? I don't know where the hell it is. I don't know if it's like some sort of 1 of 500 variant. I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat figure was really great. Next up, we have the Elite 94 MSK. I can't find my Nash Carter, so I just went with Wesley right here. I know the torso's pretty hideous, all right? Like, I get it. He's got Johnny Gargano syndrome. I get it, but he's still underrated. I still think that he represents Wesley pretty good. Nash Carter is pretty much perfect, I'd say. This one has a great head sculpt. I like the way he moves around and stuff. I like the shorts mold. They actually went with my favorite version of their gear. Now, again, Nash Carter, I can't find it. It's somewhere in a box over there. I don't know. I don't have enough room on the shelf for him, so I had to put him in a bin, but this figure is great. Uh, both of them are, honestly, and I've seen him at retail a few times, passed on him just because I already owned him. You guys know I buy multiples of, of copies if I see him at retail sometimes. That was not the, the case for this guy, but I like the Elite 94 MSK. Oh, a paper, a couple pay-per-view figures that I actually forgot about. First up, we have the Dakota Kai figure. Now, I couldn't remember if this is 2022 or last year, but it's still pretty underrated. I like how opposable it is. I like the molds you're getting, like the sculpts right here on the midsection. You even got the naval tattoo there. You got some great colors going on, the double jointed arms, solid looking head sculpt. The Dakota Kai was underrated. It was definitely underrated. I think a lot of people were missing out on this one. Unique boot mold. Again, kind of like Scarlet. She'll lean forward and fall sometimes, but you gotta, you gotta call a spade a spade. The Dakota Kai figure is pretty damn good. Oh, another figure from Elite 92 that I forgot about. The Burnt Fiend. The Burnt Fiend was a figure that I think a lot of people kind of forgot about, honestly. Like, it was here, and it was like, oh my god, are they really doing that? And then they ended up releasing it, and it was kind of frumpy lumpkins. Like, I, I remember, like, trashing this figure, but for all the sculpts that it has, like, unique, like, this figure's pretty much uniquely sculpted from head to toe, which is unbelievable. But the Burnt Fiend getting an Elite is just crazy, man. The dry brushing on the legs. I mean, you got a lot of crazy molds going on with this guy, and I think just for that reason alone, he's pretty underrated. Like, I mean, you're, you're dealing with, like, dead skin here, and just, it's a very unique figure. Very outside the box, and uh, I think he's pretty underrated. Stepping up next, guys, we have Elite Series 96 Ilya Dragunov. I think a lot of people drag this figure because of the head sculpt, and it's not a good head sculpt. I'll be the first to admit it, but everything else about it's pretty money. He can pose around greatly. He comes with a championship. He comes with a robe. He feels phenomenal in hand. It's just that head sculpt is pretty terrible. I don't like the head sculpts whatsoever. I think it's pretty ugly, to be honest with you. However, when a figure can pose around like this, you get the cloth goods and all that. You know, you can, uh, I feel like you can make up for the head sculpt pretty quick like. So I think a lot of people sleep on the Ilya Dragon off. But I, I don't know. I guess but you guys can let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Up next, guys, we have the Farouk Assad figure from Elite Series 98. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be sleeping on this one just because it's a flashback and stuff, but it's actually pretty quality. Solid looking head sculpts. You get two interchangeable ones. I know it's not the most flashy, but, you know, he's got some unique things going on over here. He's just painted on bands and stuff, but he moves around well, represents the character, and that's really all you can ask for. I think it's an underrated slept on figure, and uh, I'll stand by that. Two different Farouks this year. Up next, we have the Elite Series 99 Zelina Vega. Great looking figure from head to toe. It's probably the figure that people are going to forget about in Elite Series 99, but it is pretty much perfect, I'd say. I, I mean, it, what are you going to say about it? Head to toe, you got the crown, you got the great head sculpt, great attire, great sculpts on here. I know it has the basic boots, but they always do that to the female figures. Double jointed arms, she comes with her scepter. I mean, this is pretty much a perfect representation of Zelina Vega. I really don't know how you could argue that. Pretty much perfect. Pretty much perfect figure. Not my favorite of all time, but my god, I mean, it looks just like Vega, and 
for that reason, it gets on the most underrated list. It'll probably show for him, but it's damn, it's a damn good representation of her. And probably the two most underrated figures of this year, I'd say. They're definitely up there. I didn't do a top 10. I just decided to, you know, rank, get them all in here in one video. But probably the most underrated male figure of the year is going to the Elite 97 Sheamus. I mean, Sheamus figures are some of the most underrated you can find, man. Great formula. Like, the formula's always on the money. He feels fantastic in the hand. His head sculpts are always damn near perfect. Great looking gear. He comes with this long trench coat and this, like, fuzzy material that you could easily put on anybody else. It's a long trench coat, vest deal, jacket deal. He's got the mask and hat, and this is just an unbelievable figure. Unbelievable figure. This figure should have gotten an honorable mention for figure of the year. It is damn good. It's very good, even though my... Ah, there you go. Of course, I was stuck there, but oh my god in heaven, this figure is phenomenal. Look at it. I mean, it just represents him perfectly. Anytime, you guys know, anytime that they can take a guy off the screen and just pull him right off my screen, right on to figure form, that is going to get big points from me. So Seamus is probably the male underrated figure of the year. And then the female most underrated WWE Elite of the entire year has to go to, and this isn't even close, I don't think, has to go to the SummerSlam Dominic Mysterio Build-A-Figure Wave Elite Sensational Sherry. This figure is phenomenal. It looks just like Sherry. You get all of these unique sculpts here. You get these sleeves. She still has double jointed arms regardless of all that sculpt material. Great details down here with all the holes and stuff that are in the sleeves. You got all this stuff going on on the torso. Head sculpt is perfect. You get the crotch piece that is uniquely sculpted here. All this is sculpted on. You get the flaps here. You even have the netting underneath. The holes going all the way down. I know that the pegs right here are in skin tone instead of white, but it's because they're skin tone on the other side. But all of this is sculpted in here. The double jointed knee is fantastic. She can actually pose around really well. She has these little studded heels there. This is an immaculate figure. Probably the most underrated figure of the year, I'd say. This this one right here, it may be one that's probably going to go up in price over time, maybe. We'll have to see about that. And her shoulders can't, like, articulate all the way, but I feel like a lot of the women's figures this year had that problem. But she can almost get to a T-pose pretty much. You still have the bicep swivel. This figure is so damn good. It's it's hilarious how good it is. That's just how good it is, man. Like, I would love to put on a five-star banger with this figure just to see what would come of it. But I think this is the most underrated figure of the year. If you own it, you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. Figure is, is crazy good. But anyways, man, that is going to pretty much wrap up the most underrated WWE Elite action figures of the year, man. It's been an insane year from WWE and Mattel. I thought that uh, this year we've, we've seen some of the best figures Mattel's ever produced. When you're dealing with the true effects, the double jointed arms, the cloth goods, I mean, they are... I was going to do a worst figures of the year. I may still stay, still do like a combined worst wrestling figures of the year and include AEW in there and kind of go through all of the worst figures, but Mattel really didn't have a lot of worst figures, man. Like, you could argue that they really really didn't have any. I have maybe like five or six in my head. You know, maybe you could make them work into a worst figures of the year, but Mattel brought their A game this year, and I expect nothing less in 2023. It is getting to a point where their figures are just so good to a clip, but. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think the most underrated WWE action figure was this year? I'd love to know down below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. Take Dad, we're out of here, baby. Dad, we're out of here. You're out of here? Uh -huh. Well, let me love. Okay, I'll put that We're not going to leave you for a long time. You're not going to leave me for a long time? No. Hey, please don't. You going to come right back? Uh-huh. I'm going to come right back. Are you, are you going to go play? Uh-huh, at the park. Mm -hmm. And we'll be right back. We will be right back. You crossed the line.